Basically making a square with the block forward. So right here it tells you that you have to move forward. Okay, you gotta slow down because I'm I'm an old man. So right here. So what's going on here? You're making a block. I'm gonna make a block. A square. Okay. You're gonna make a square with the cold block. Okay. And you have five right here. Okay, I've got four blocks, so I need one more block. I need eight more blocks. That doesn't make any sense. Why do I need eight? More no, you need eight blocks all together. All together, I see. So right here, you move forward. Okay. Bring this down here. All right. And bring this down here. Okay. You like to come here. Okay. okay. And should I, should, do I bring this last one down? No. You bring this. This one? Down here. Okay. Okay. Alright. Okay. Alright. Okay. Alright. 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 Is Elsa? That is Elsa. Yeah, Elsa, you just made her. Nice, nice job. job. Right here. This shows, this basically shows you, this basically shows you the uh, code in JavaScript, and it tells you that universities also do this code system virtually on Harvard. And if you have time, I'd like to show you how to. Okay. So right here, this is basically the same thing as in JavaScript. So okay. You so I would actually type up. So yeah. I, I could type, for example, yeah. I could type. Break move and then make the F capital. So I got to make the F the higher higher case. Mm -hmm. Move. Oops. Uh, do I put like a hundred? Oh, 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 what happened? What did I do? You just go, you just want to put it. All right. And you gotta put the top on it. Okay. And a hundred. And close. Semicolon. And now when you press one, you're going to. Say, same yes. thing. Yes. All right, you look this one. We have a coding president. I do. Now, how, how long have you guys been working on this? Coder in chief. Yeah, coder in chief. The, uh, how long, uh, when did you guys get down here? We got it down here yesterday. Yesterday? So, had any of you done coding before? Well, we did it once in class. Once in class. And then, uh, so, is this pretty interesting, the idea that you might be able to code and, and make up your own games and things like that? Well, that's pretty cool. Absolutely. And it turns out that, it's, I mean, the concepts are not that complicated. Right? The, uh, have you had a chance to get a, get a sense of how this connects to the work you do, like a math class and stuff? Uh, the, uh, Megan, what? The, uh, the basic concept behind coding is that if you take zeros and ones, you take uh, two numbers, that those can be, yes or no, those can be translated into uh, electrical messages that then run through the computer. So it's just a list of instructions. So you just create a list of instructions to make Elsa dance around and do the square. So it's just a list of instructions. Right. So it's all it's doing is it's saying yes or no over and over again. And the computer's powerful enough that it can read a really long set of instructions really quickly. Yes. Right? Yep. Yeah, these days, the ones and zeros, nobody even thinks about them. Right. You just give the computer the commands, and they're much closer to English. You say, do this, do that, do this, and the computer does what you want. Because we have the, the baseline language is already been established. Yeah, there's so many, la the, the language people are using this drag and drop stuff. Under the hood, there's many levels of more complicated, harder things that you don't even need to think about. One of the things we want to highlight today is that um, right after World War II, there was a very incredible American. Grace Hopper, Rear Admiral Grace Hopper, and we brought some things from the Navy Archive to share. But she was the first person to start taking it out of sort of that machine code and use a human language, an English-like language, and create what's called a compiler that it crunches it down into that language. And so we're celebrating Grace Hopper because her birthday would have been tomorrow. Well, the point is, a lot of times, you know, People don't realize that women were deeply involved in doing some, you know, a lot of this stuff. So sometimes girls, you guys, 
aren't always participating as much in math class or science class. But it turns out that some of the folks who really help to make computers work the way they do today were women. Now, they weren't always getting paid the same. And they were sometimes weren't getting the credit. They were doing the work and then some guy was getting the credit. Uh, and, um, but that's, we got to change that. we got to make sure that we got a lot of young women. we got to make sure that African Americans and minorities that we're involved in this stuff. Because this is, yeah, this is the future right here. So I expect you guys to be doing some coding someday. All right? You going to stay with us? All right. Pete, you got a picture of my crew here? Uh, you want to maybe... Uh, I'm going I'm to swing around yeah. here. <laughs> Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. You guys can stay seated. By the way, did the hat mess up my hair a little bit? Still okay? Hold on. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you. All right, good job. Good job.